Simon Barrett from Show Technology joins us today on Gearbox. Simon, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Now, we're looking today at the Pro Shop Quad Bar. Yep. Give us the rundown. Uh, so this is our newest uh, LED bar. Mm -hmm. We've got a range, range of options right down from uh, most cost effective all the way up to TV spec. Uh, this is my favorite product at the moment. It's called the Quad Bar. Yep. And that's because it's RGBW. And what's really nice is that it's got individual control of each pixel, each color in each pixel, 18 of them, four watt LEDs. So we can just use it to up light drapes, nice and easy, or we can do some eye candy as we're doing here where we can chase up and down the bar with different colors. Or if we're feeling really ambitious, we could rack 30 or so of them adjacent and uh, even pixel map with Definitely it. use it as a, a low res video screen, yep. But uh, certainly a low res video screen with lots of output. <laughs> Yeah, it's incredibly they're bright, bright. Aren't they? They're really bright. Yeah, great for actually just lighting something. So you could just light up a, a psych uh, or, or a stage. Uh, you don't need to use the eye candy. Okay, and, and indeed you could use it as a footlight quite effectively too, I yeah, suspect. Yeah, easily. Yeah, it comes with these two little uh, brackets that you've got on the side here, so we can adjust the angle, of course. Okay. Now, DMX 3-pin in and out as well as PowerCon. Yep, yep, so we can daisy chain them. Okay, now we measured the uh, the current draw on this and, and it peaks at about just a, sh a shade over one and a quarter amps. So mm -hmm. I reckon you could safely run seven of them off a 10 amp circuit. Yep. Um, and that's assuming that you're going to be running every module with every color at full intensity. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the less you're doing in the way of color output, the less current it's gonna draw. Yep. Uh, cooling, I noticed there is a little cooling fan in the back. Yeah, the, the quad chips are always going to be an issue at the moment. It, it's, uh, we, we have to have some fan cooling. Mm -hmm. uh, so right at the back here, we've got a module which has the power supply in it, and it has a little fan. That's just, uh, just constantly working, just to keep the power supply at the right temperature. It's pretty quiet. It's, it's pretty quiet, and it's not like it's going to change speed either, because it's constant, yep. constant cooling. Yeah, yep. so it's, it, you're not going to get those annoying speed changes. Price-wise? Uh, so retail price, including GST, is uh, $799. So definitely the uh, cheapest bar that we've done with individual pixel control. Mm. So it's definitely uh, an option for lots of users. Yep. And the other nice thing is that we, uh, we did some testing earlier on, and even when dimmed, the LEDs don't sort of have any apparent flicker on yep. camera. So that's definitely a big win where there's cameras involved. Yeah. How many control channels? Yeah, so we've got three options. We've got four channel, which mm -hmm. is uh, RGBW, seven channel, which has some macros and a dimmer and a strobe, and then 72 channels is wide mode. So that's four. That's four individual control of indeed. every And that's where we've module. got it at the moment. Uh, so you can just run it in seven channel and just use the macros to get the, the eye candy effect. Uh, and it's also got sound to light as well, which is great. Yeah. Um, and when it's running standalone mode, you can link other bars to it, correct? Yeah, yeah, master-slave the bars. So they'll all mirror each other. Yeah, that's it. Okay, there you go. It's the Pro Shop Quad Bar.